This is the old KCRA newsroom. Hasn't been used in ages. I literally grew up working in here. I arrived just out of high school. In fact, uh, the president was still Lyndon B. Johnson. And in a few months, I was on TV. At 19, I began reporting weather, trained by renowned meteorologist Harry Geis. The 10 year study showed that uh, the state of Washington has, on the average, less than one tornado a year. After Harry's retirement, I became lead forecaster and added the Valley's first air pollution reports and pollen reports. Rain. And good. it looks very good for Wednesday night and Thursday. Ah, yes. The, the days of big hair, big plaids, and wide lapels. In the news tonight, a warning out for yuppie parents. The low-fat, low-calorie diet that is good for you may, in fact, be not good at all for your babies or young children. In 1979, I moved to news anchoring and reporting, immediately jumping into big stories. The accident at Pennsylvania's Three Mile Island nuclear plant sent me to its twin reactor at Rancho Seco, 25 miles southwest of Sacramento. I covered this power plant intensely for about 10 years, and we took the time to take viewers inside to see nearly every part of this operation. Including a worldwide first, a live report inside a reactor building showing nuclear refueling. It was formed outside of Jericho after the formation of Israel in 1948. The, the 80s and 90s were non-stop. I traveled to Israel, covering Palestinians on the occupied West Bank. That series won the highest award from the National Council of Christians and Jews. Where the communist East German government is actually selling people to the West. This year, an estimated 40,000 East Germans will be sold. I reported from West Germany before the fall of the Berlin Wall. The big stories were often tragic. A disturbed gunman opening fire at Cleveland Elementary School. At Lindhurst High School, a former student barged in, killing four people. And then the good guys hostage drama. A store full of hostages taken by four gunmen who terrorized and tortured them for eight hours, all seen live on TV. In the end, a sniper's bullet set off a murderous rampage. Six people died, 14 wounded. Then I covered the trial of the surviving gunman. He, by the way, is still serving a life sentence. I was in court the day that a repeat drunk driver got a legal slap on the wrist for killing the daughter of Candy Leitner. I'm very unsatisfied. I think Judge Grosvelt just gave drunk drivers a license to kill. She I went on to form MAD, Mothers Against Drunk Driving. I went to so many amazing places, operating rooms to see new surgeries, gold mines in the Sierra, Hollywood sets, and NASA research centers like JPL in Pasadena. Holding aerogel is amazing. It has virtually no weight, but I can feel the form in my hand. And of course, the forces of nature. This was the lead story on the day of the New Year's Day floods, 1997. An unforgettable sudden snowmelt causing havoc. There were also earthquakes, major storms, three droughts, and of course, heat waves. Arden Fair blacktop, temperature in the parking lot is 146 degrees radiating off the surface. My innovation was using a thermal tool to measure exactly how hot common objects were to the touch. In 2000, I was in the middle of the California energy crisis, reporting from the Cal ISO on the stunning series of statewide brownouts and blackouts. I reported on toxic trains after a series of accidents and who can forget the devastating Angora fire at Lake Tahoe? So much has happened. Also an update on the situation in Guatemala at 11. I arrived here at the age of 18. I leave as a grandfather, age 64. I have been extremely fortunate. I have been blessed to be at such a great news station because this really is where the news comes first.